If you want to lip sync that bad, then bitch make musically. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Denzel Dion. Welcome back to my channel. Are you poppin'? Because I know I am. Okay? So for this video, as you can see by this title, this video is going to be the types of girls on Snapchat. I've made types of girls. I've made types of teenagers. It's now it's time to make types of girls on Snapchat, okay? So I'm just going to make this like a types of series. So I will be doing more types of. But like this video if you want more types of videos. <laughs> and you might be this type of girl on Snapchat. Your friend might be this type of girl on Snapchat. Your mother might be this type of girl on Snapchat. But just know you are one of these types the girls on Snapchat, which is totally fine. If this is your first time seeing my face or knowing of my existence, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That helps me a lot. And like always, follow me on Twitter, turn on my post notifications. Follow me on Instagram, turn on my post notifications. It's snap me. I snap back. The links will be down below. And before we get right onto this video, I just want to say in no way, shape, or form, I'm trying to degrade or belittle girls or try to throw shade at anyone in particular because I just know for a fact like some feminist or someone is going to comment some stupid shit like all you do, you know, it's just some bullshit. Just like calm the fuck down, take a joke. This is all for entertainment, all for fun, all for jokes, you know, all for laughter. So yeah, let me stop our rambling. Let's get right on into this video. Shall we, darling? For the first type of girl on Snapchat, we're going to call her the good morning girl because um this is the type of girl that just feels the need to always snap so she gets up. It's like... Bitch, do we give a fuck? Do we care? Did we ask you that you're that you've woken up? Did we ask you to snap us a picture of the sunrise and you in your bed with your feet, with your crusty toes, and you know stuff like that? It's like you know what? It's fine. People love to say good morning to Snapchat, but they've I bet you they've never said good morning to their mother or father a day in their life. They just you know what? I just don't get the good morning Snapchat. They just wake up like good morning, and you know what? The girls that say good morning, I woke up like this, but they have a full face of makeup. It's like okay, girl, did you really wake up like that now? You have a full face of makeup on, you have earrings on, your eyebrows are dead, your hair is done, the face is beat, and it's like, okay, you woke up like that flawless, I see you, good morning, girl, good morning to you. Or the type of girls that say good morning and it's about 3 p.m. It's like, girl, what time zone are you living in? So yeah, those are just the type of girls that just always feel the need they have to snap when they wake up, or snap when they sleep, like, good night, and they turn off the lights, and you know what, it's like, okay, good night, girl, we'll see you, we'll see you tomorrow, we'll see your snaps tomorrow. Adios. And the second type of girl on Snapchat is the rancher slash the storyteller. Wow, I have so many girls like this on Snapchat. It's like, can you please just shut up? Shut the fuck up. Gosh, damn. We get it. You're going through it. I'm going through it as well. But you don't see me on Snapchat ranting, okay? Minutes, okay? Tens and thousands of snaps of you ranting and telling story time. It's like, damn, bitch, just make a YouTube channel or just write it down on paper or just make a movie about it. Reenact it on film. They rant about the most stupidest things. They tell stories, like we give a fuck, you know, when they tell stories like we actually sit there and care to know what happened to them today, what type of boyfriend broke their heart, what type of boyfriend they're sleeping with tonight, what type of boyfriend they're gonna see tomorrow, what type of mom they wanna have set up their own mother, how they wanna kill themselves because you know what, Chipotle didn't give them guac. And it's like, girl, we get it, stop fucking complaining. Do something about it. Just don't sit here on Snapchat and rant about it because I don't want to hear your problems because I have problems of my own. And if I don't want to talk about problems of my own, I sure do not want to hear problems of your own. We all have this type of girl on Snapchat that she just sits there on her bed and she just tells stories like people want to listen. And the thing is she keeps going on and on and on and then she just gets to like part 35. She's like, so yeah guys, um, that's it for the story. I just had to rant to you guys a little quick. You know, just a little rant. Bitch, what the fuck do you mean by little? Little who? Little where? Little when? Little what? You call 10 minutes of Snapchatting little? Can you please stop ranting and storytelling on Snapchat? If you want to do that, make a YouTube channel. You can tell all the story times you want to tell. Or better yet, write a story. <laughs> Duh. You're such a storyteller on Snapchat, you might as well just be an author. You might be a writer, a journalist, you know? But you know what? We all rant. It's just sometimes people just do it on a daily basis, you know, sometimes I do it on a weekly basis, or sometimes a monthly basis, because, you know, sometimes you gotta give your snap people a break. For the third type of girl on Snapchat, I'm going to be calling her the bather. By the bather, I mean this girl is just always in the bath. Like, damn, how many baths do you take a day, girl? She just snaps her toes, you know, what with her not cute nail polish on in the water, or sometimes, you know, there's some cute toes, but just feet just grosses me out, but they just love their feet in water. Splash, you know, those type of girls that throw bath bombs, see the color works in the water and stuff like that, which is cute, which is very Pinterest, very Tumblr, but it's like, girl, let's, we're on Snapchat now, we get it, that you love to take showers. They're in the bath the whole day. They're just snapping themselves with music in the background. 
and their toes just in water. And then you have those type of girls that love to play with water in the bath. It's like, damn, if you really want to play with water that much, you might as well just go to a park, you might as well go to a pool, you might as well just go to the ocean, go somewhere you can play with a big, like, land of water. You're not about to sit here and play with your bath water, throwing bath bombs up and down, splashing water at your camera. They just love singing, you know what? They just love blowing bubbles to the camera. Those, they just love the bath. They take showers, you do not see them out there baths because they they sit they soak they eat they shit they pee in that bathtub the bathroom sometimes gets annoying because it's like girl i'm really tired of seeing those ashy ass kneecaps and they in water and they still ashy for the fourth type of girl on snapchat it's just the type of girl that snaps everything by everything i mean anything and everything i'm just gonna call her the everything snapchatter like damn this girl snapchats everything what she's wearing where she's going the sidewalks the moon the sun the sunrise, the sunset, dog walking, dogs running. She just Snapchats everything that's in her sight. It's like her Snapchat is her eyes. Everything she sees, we're seeing. Like she has to show us. Cause if she don't show us, it's a problem. Those are the type of friends that love to Snapchat everywhere. Love to Snapchat everywhere. Sometimes I am that friend that likes to snap at other places because you know what, I need to just show people that I'm having fun and you're not. When you get to the point of you just Snapchatting what you're eating, lettuce, green, grass, rabbits, donkeys, rabbits, you know, it, it, it's 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 taken too far. And fifth type of girl that Snapchat, Rich is the one who loves to Snapchat food. And it's like, damn girl, you eat, bitch, you eat. Like you eat more than I do. And you know what, though? you know why I hate those type of girls? Cause sometimes I be hungry as fuck and I look at those snaps like shit. My mouth starts to water and I'm like, wow. Those are the type of girls that eat the most prestigious foods ever. It's like, ah. Uh, where do you get that? Where do you find that? But then you have these type of girls that always Snapchat them cooking at home and the shit is not cute. It just looks like shit and ramen noodles mixed together and they call it spaghetti and meatballs. Girl, that is not no spaghetti and meatballs. I know what real spaghetti and meatballs look like and then that's not it. We get it, you eat, I eat as well. But damn, 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 damn. They be having lunches and shit. I only eat like once or twice a day and I'm like, do I need to eat more? They'll snap their appetizer, then they'll snap their entree and then they'll just snap the dessert that just make your mouth water and it's like, I want that. Like, where can I get that? But now the girls who try to do the home cooking and sometimes the home cooking is not what they expect it to be and it looks like doo-doo. They know who they are. They just love Snapchatting the food. They love to eat. I mean, I love to eat too, but I don't Snapchat every meal I'm eating. Like, damn. And now for the sixth type of girl on Snapchat is the partier. Now the party are those type of girls you cannot fuck with. They party from Monday through Sunday. It's like, damn, bitch. What do you do other than partying? They party 24-7, they're always at clubs, they're always at parties, they're drinking the alcohol so high, they're so fucked up. And then wait for it, after they party, they've gone home, then you see the hungover snaps, and the hungover snaps is not cute. You see drool stains and mascara and stuff like that. Like, damn, I never know clubs open on Monday through Thursdays. They they just always have to make something a party. Always have to make something a party. They're at school, they have to make it a party, put music on, start dancing. They just love to party, they really do love to party. And it's like sometimes it's like, Girl, do you do something else other than partying? We see it, like we get it, you're having fun, like, okay, sometimes I'm jealous because I'm fucking home, but this bitch is outside partying Monday through Thursday, no, Monday through Sunday, and I'm just home with the plans to do, and these are the type of girls that you snap from the, oh my God, is there anything tonight? They say no, knowing damn well you know that they have a party. You know you're gonna see those party snaps later because they just party every time, every day. And with the party girl, it's cute to party, but it's like, damn, you could party that long. When I go to clubs, I only stay for like 30 minutes, and then I'm just drained physically and emotionally. I don't know how they do it. They do it 24 seven nonstop. And another type of girl on Snapchat is the filter girl. Meaning the filter girl, meaning you will never see her without a filter. She loves herself with a dog filter. She loves herself the one with the flower crown. They just love good filters and you will never see them without a filter. Wow, you really love yourself in a filter that much. And sometimes you see them so many times in filters that when you see them in person, it's like, are you the same person? How do you catfish on Snapchat? Just using filters, you know? You know that girl that loves herself a good dog filter. She loves her. lick, lick, lick. I want to see you without the flower crown. I just want to see you. I just don't want to see these filters all over your face. If that dog filter is banned from Snapchat, I don't know what girls would do. Some of them might just snap Snapchat because that's just all they use. But the last type of girl on Snapchat, you know her, your friend is probably her, bitch, I'm probably her, but bitch, I'm not a her, I'm a he, but I do this, is the fucking lip singer. Yes, I love to lip sync on Snapchat, but sometimes people take it to an extreme. But those type of girls that wake up religiously in the morning to get their makeup done and everything to lip sync to a song that most of the times they don't know the lyrics to. It's like, damn, because sometimes they be looking like this. Hey, little mama, would you like to be my sunshine? Nigga, touch my game. We gon' turn this shit to Columbine. Ice on my neck, cost me ten times. If you wanna lip sync that bad, then bitch make musically. The thing is, they be doing musically moves on Snapchat. They be twisting and turning and... 
Most of the times, 95% of the time, they don't know the words to the song. They don't know, they just, now they had Bob they had and look cute. Most of the time you have those girls that listen to the same songs and then you have those girls that listen to different songs every day that they don't know the words to and it's just very sad. It's so sad, you know why it's so sad? It's because everybody on Snapchat always look at their snap before they post it, they just don't lip sync and post it. You know damn well, they lip sync, they see the video, they see that they don't know the words and they still post it. Like you know what, I really do love my lip singing girls, they really do know how to put on a show. So yeah, those are the types of girls on Snapchat, obviously there are more but these are just the basic and if you want me to make a type to boys on Snapchat, let's get this video to 20,000 likes. Can we do it? Can we do it? Smash that like button. That's it for this video, guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I said, you see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You don't watch, I don't post. So watch. And until then, see you later, my darlings. Bye.